Once upon a time, in a Minangkabau coastal village known as Pantai Airmanis, lived an elderly widow named Mande Rubaya. She had a son named Malin Kundang. She loved and looked after her son dearly. Every day, she baked and sold cookies in the market. And Malin, who was such a darling, helped his mom. Like many Minangkabau young men, Malin dreamt of taking journeys and seeking treasure and wealth in faraway lands. He wanted to ease his mother's burden and to find ways to bring her greater prosperity. Malin's dream came true when a large merchant ship anchored at Pantai Airmanis. Malin rushed to the shore, asked if he could help unload some of the trade goods. The captain agreed, and in fact, the captain needed an extra hand on deck, and he offered Malin a trip of a lifetime. Malin was so thrilled and excited, he rushed home and told his mom the news. Malin's mom was happy to hear the news, but sad at the same time because her only son would be leaving her alone soon. But seeing her son's determination and courage, she blessed him for a safe and meaningful journey. She hoped traveling the world would make a man out of him and shape his character into someone who can make a positive impact on the people around him. Malin's mom expected nothing, but only hoped Malin would come home soon and make her proud. After that, Malin's mom would go to the beach every day after she finished her cookie selling in the market. She stared at the sky and the horizon, wondering how her son was doing. She missed him so much and prayed he would come home soon. Meanwhile, as the time went by, Malin made a fortune and became a wealthy man and was soon to be married to the daughter of a rich merchant and ship owner. One fateful day, a fleet of large merchant ships was spotted on the horizon, sailing toward Pantai Airmanis. On board the flagship was Malin and his newly wedded wife. The village crowd cheered the ship's arrival and excitedly cheered Malin and his wife. Malin's mother was among the crowd and broke through the line to approach her son. She burst into tears and ran to hug her son. Malin, who was with his newly wedded wife, could not stand seeing his mother who looked like a beggar. Feeling embarrassed, he immediately denied her existence and pushed her until she fell. Malin's mother was shocked and hurt so much. She could never have imagined that her one and only son would treat her that way. She prayed in her heart, God, I did not raise that boy only to be hurt and humiliated, but he is still my son. I still love him, but I ask you, God, let me be the last person on earth he will hurt. Don't let him be an evil person. Show me your way, God. Upon completion of the loading and unloading of the merchant goods, the fleet set sail again. Malin, his wife, and the entire crew were destined to take the final voyage of their lives. The weather turned for the worse, and huge waves slammed the fleet, and within hours, all of Malin's fleet sunk in the middle of the ocean. Malin was washed ashore and badly wounded, but still alive. Malin then realized that God had punished him for what he did to his mom. He bowed his head and prayed for his mother's forgiveness. It was too late. His body stiffened and poor Malin slowly changed into a rock. Today, the rock that resembles a man can still be found at Pantai Airmanis village, reminding all of us again that our mother's prayers are the keys to a blessed, 
long and prosperous life. Thank you.